guys, my name is Furley and this is Alex and we're Team 3XT and we're so excited to be partnering up with GoFit. This video is part of our core series. We're gonna make sure we focus this time on the back, all right? The core includes all this midsection, the glutes, the abdominals and the back, but let's take that mind to body connection and focus on the back for this, all right? That's right, so a lot of these exercises you're gonna think, actually this is an ab exercise, but we're really gonna encourage you to actually feel how your back can support the front of your body and you'll see what we mean okay so if you have a stability disc we highly recommend these these are so yummy if you don't have one you're gonna follow Alex and make sure you grab your yoga strap by your side we're not gonna get into it yet but we're gonna use that and then we got our go fit props ready to go that's right and if you don't have a strap grab your husband's tie. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start with a warm up. You're gonna come to a full plank. I want you to push the floor away, find a lot of space between your shoulder blades, engage those abs, squeeze those glutes, and press those heels back. I want you to start with your right foot. You're gonna walk forward. Four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna walk back. Four, three, two, one. Give those abs a break, push those hips up, and take it right back down to that full plank. And again, four, three, two, one. Walk it back. Four. Three, two, one, push it back, so good. We're gonna do that eight more. You already know the exercise. So here, you're trying to get your spine to look neutral. It should look exactly the same way as when you're standing up, okay? So there's no roundness of the spine. Three, four, one, two, three. Find that perfect alignment right here. You should look just like what you do when you're standing up. Three, four, one, two, three. Push those heels back. Push those hips up. Nice, thank you. And six, two, three, four. Try to get that torso to stay parallel to the ground to the best of your ability. Good, four more using your inhales and exhales. Exhale here, inhale here. Exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. Good, engage those abs. Start feeling your back. Up and down, three more. Forward, two, stack those shoulders right on top of the wrist. Two, three, four, back. Give me two more. When you go into that downward facing dog, how much can you push your chest down and really feel length on the front of your body? Last one, enjoy it. And four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one, and push. Amen, awesome. Now you can have your knee on your stability disc or you can have your knee obviously on the mat if you don't have something like this to work with, okay? If you are on the stability disc, place that knee right in the middle of it so you find that juicy spot. We're gonna start with the left leg. You're gonna reach your left leg back, push that heel as far as it will go, bring it to a 90 degree angle. Now use your opposite hand. If this is too much, you can leave both hands down. Pulse up, three, two, hold it at the top, now squeeze it in, three, two, one, that's one, we're gonna do 10. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Now when we're doing pulses, people try to do like really big pulses. We're gonna encourage you to keep your, your pulses small. So you're gonna go to the highest of the height that you can go and pulse up there and then squeeze as tight as you can. So right here, she, she's going nice and high without opening up that rib cage and she's squeezing as hard as she can, right? Two, she's reaching with those fingertips and look at that heel, she's pointing that toe. Now that heel is reaching back. Two, three, and forward. Two, three, good, reach. So you're getting long. Start creating a lot of space between your vertebrae and long. Go for that high, but keeping those ribs nice and melted in. And last one, squeeze up top, boom, good. Right away, we're gonna go to the other side. Set it up, and we're in it. And three, two, one, squeeze. Four, two, one. Her spine is neutral, just like it is when she's standing up. Now she's curving, right? There's a lot of, a lot of energy coming out that middle spine right here. Boom, two, three, keep going. One, two, three, and two. Make sure that leg is completely aligned with your hip and it's not off to the side. It's nice in alignment with the hip. Four, gorgeous. One, two, three, and one. Two, go for length. And one, two, 
three. So find that high spot where your leg is still parallel. Those hip bones are nice and even. You're not letting that hip bone, that working hip bone open up. You're nice and even. Find that height and pulse up there. Squeeze, squeeze. Last one, push, two, three, and one, two. So good. Either lay on your balance disc or lay on your yoga mat. Place both your hip bones on it. It's gonna feel really, really good. Okay, so option number one is just to tent your fingers. You're gonna cobra up and you bend your toes. Option number two is to actually reach all the way back and tap those toes and bring it to a T. Ready? 10 of them. And 10. So if you're on that balance disc, you're gonna start feeling, right? Which side you fall to. You're trying as best as you can to stay centered on that disc. And down, which I'm not doing a good job at. Four. <laughs> and five more. Five. And down. Four. And down. Three. Remember, the option is always to tent those fingers. Two. Squeeze those abs. Squeeze that booty. One. You made it. That's your warm up. You feel good? Okay, great. Yeah! All right. Should we put our waist trainers on? Give us a second. Guys, we're really obsessed with these. This will help you stay in. Your rib cage is just gonna stay in. You're gonna sweat 10 times more. It's so yummy. Okay, if you have your balanced disc, you're going to sit on it, okay? Find that juicy middle spot where you feel balanced, but of course, you know, you can easily come right and left. That's what the whole purpose of using a stability disc. It's really going to force those hips to really drill down towards the floor and you stay nice and even. Place your hands behind your knees, okay? You're gonna roll those shoulders up towards the ears, roll it back down, and I want you to feel your shoulder blades having a conversation with each other and with your rib cage, okay? So there's a lot of energy, a lot of conversation happening, both shoulder blades in towards each other and down towards that rib cage. Once you feel that, see if you can actually push that lumbar spine forward towards the lower abs and the lower abs up and in towards that lumbar spine. So there's a lot of pressure coming in from the back and from the front, okay? You should feel a huge engagement. So this is what I'm talking about, where you should feel your back muscles actually supporting that leaning back position, okay? So lean back to that 45 degree angle and stay in that neutral spine. From here, you're gonna give me a contraction. Good, just to feel what that feels like. And now roll it back up, 45 degree, nice and neutral spine, good. All I want you to do is come to your tippy toes, but just letting go of the arms, okay? Just here for 15 seconds, so tap it out. Leaning back 45 degrees, find that length on your spine and let go of the fingertips. So you should see a capital V from your thighs to, yeah, you can actually keep your toes down. There you go, just the arms. So you should see a capital V from your knees down to your hips, up to the shoulders. 10, nine, eight, just hold it. Seven, six, keep those knees together. Three, two, now do the opposite. Touch the floor with those hands, toes up. Stay right here. Find that neutral spine. We're not caving in. We're not tilting the pelvis. Everything is nice and straight. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. Good. And now we're going to let go everything. Hands up, feet up. Ten, nine, eight, Lord, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Yes, round it forward. So once again, boat pose should never be from a tucked position. A lot of people make that mistake, okay? You talk to any Pilates professional, they'll tell you, your pelvis is supposed to be nice and neutral, and so is your spine. We're gonna add twists. You have two more exercises, okay? Still sitting on that balance disc or on your yoga mat. Give those abs a break. Again, feel those back muscles supporting the abs. It's not just an ab exercise, okay? You should feel your back muscles pushing you up and supporting you, just like a sun chair does. We're gonna lean back once again, and we're just gonna flutter those feet. So you can tent your fingers down, or bring them off the floor, whatever you feel that serves you best. You're gonna bring one toe up, and let's just bring it that back down. One toe up, good. You are your best coach. Check your torso. Is it nice and straight, nice and neutral, I should say? Are you sitting into those hips, or are you allowing that lumbar spine to support those lower abs? Nice and straight, one capital V from your knee, down to your hip, up to your shoulder. Good. One more on each side. 
Option to let go of the opposite hand and tap that toe and bring it back down. Tap that toe and bring it back down. Leaning back on that 45 degree angle, barely put any weight on those fingertips. Good. We're gonna do four more on each side. This is five. Four more. Four. Four. Lean back with that torso. Three. Can your lumbar spine support you more? Can you find more length between your vertebrae? Really push the top of your head back towards that upper corner. Two more on each side. Tent those fingertips. You can challenge yourself by letting go of the floor if you choose to. Good. Last one. One. Down. One. Down. Relax. Nice. I know. This is your last one. We're going to go into that full boat pose. You can let go of the floor. The feet are definitely going to be off the floor. You can let go of the hands or keep the hands nice and still. Okay? Nice on the floor. What you're going to do is come back to that boat pose and you're going to fully extend back. Extend those legs. Yep. And then come back into that boat pose. So when you're down, contract your pelvis or so tilt the pelvis, contract the abs. And now come back to that neutral spine. Good. So a little bit of rounding of the spine. Straighten that spine right back out. Yes. Keep going. So what I want to see is this contract and then come back to that neutral spine. Contract, come back to that neutral spine. Yes. If you're on that disc, and you want to bring the feet down and just feel what the pelvis, the lumbar spine, the upper back is doing. Totally good. Open up that chest. See if you can make this more of a back exercise than an ab exercise. Push that back back. Push that back forward. Let it sink back. Let it push forward. Open up that chest. Four more. Four. And up. Three. Up. Neutral spine, 45 degree. One. And down. Wow. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. All right, you guys. Now grab your yoga strap for me. If you're on that disc, come off of it for just a second and put the buckle side down about a quarter of the way, okay? You want to have more slack at the end. We're going to sit on the disc. If you're on the floor, sit right on that strap. Make sure it's nice and stable there. <laughs> and then bring that strap along in alignment with the spine behind, all right? And we're gonna just, same posture we did before, setting up, sit up nice and tall, lengthening out from that tailbone up to the crown of the head, all right? And get, give it a light grip at the top, right? All right, just from here, let's open up our toes, um, our feet in line with our knees, knees in line with our hips, and just take a couple inhales here, sitting up nice and tall, get long, inhale, and then exhale, contract. Tuck that spine, make a nice C. Good, feel that band up and down the spine, good. Let's take 10 here, inhale, relax your shoulders, exhale. Your breath is so important here, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, release. Good, you should feel that vertebrae coming apart one by one. Your toes should just be gently on the floor in front of you, keeping those inner thighs engaged as well. I should hear that breath through the screen. Inhale, lengthen, relax those shoulders. Exhale. Good, a few more here. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale. Good, inhale, breathe. Good, let's take two more. Last one. Exhale. Good, now find that sweet spot sitting up. If you have the, the stability disc underneath you, find that center again like we did in the beginning and just keep those feet parallel. All we're gonna do is alternate right and left in that parallel position. Lift up your right leg, take it up and then tap it down. Alternate left and down, little taps, up and down. So we're not dumping our weight into that tailbone, we're still keeping that back nice and long. And then just little kisses with the floor, all right? Keep that big toe engaged, connected to the floor as it comes down. Good, keep those knees in, in line with those hips. Get that chin out of your chest. I know, right? Sit up so much more, give me three. We're gonna even it out on both sides. Two, 
One more on that left. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Stay there or take a second. <laughs> you can release, maybe shake out windshield wipe those knees back and forth. You want to get more into those arms, keep them up. All right, now take those attitudes position, externally rotating those knees out and bringing those heels forward. So I'm at the side of my pinky toes now. Sit up nice and tall, engage that back again, nice and long. Now lead through your heel and just lift up right and left, right, tap it down, left, down. Keep that nice open diamond with those knees. That's four, lift and careful not to sink into that tailbone. Good, six, couple more here. Make sure you're breathing. I know, your top, the upper body should not be moving at all. Your legs should be the focus here. Give me two, last one. Good, take a second. Release those arms for me. Maybe give your chest a little expansion. Exhale down. All right, challenging part now. Pray. We're gonna try both legs, okay? Let's take that, that diamond shape again. I'm bringing the soles of my feet together when that uh, plantar flexion in our feet. Sit up nice and tall again, find that length, and then lead through those heels, keep those feet glued together. Lift it up and down, woo! Sit up tall, up and down. Take your time, try not to fall down like me. <sighs> Gradually decrease it down. But it's not. Ah! <laughs> Makes it so much more challenging. Right. It's no joke. Five, right? Six, keep that length. Seven, think about a big beam of light shooting out from that crown of the head. <sighs> all the way down to that tailbone, all the way down through those toes. Give me two more. Last one. <sighs> If you're shaking, that means you're doing it right. Two. Oh my goodness, release. Sit up nice and tall. All right, two more exercises here and then we're gonna come down to our tummies. Again, back to where we started. We call these around the world. So come down a little bit, just come into that tucked pelvis. All right, find those lower abs here. We're gonna inhale to prepare center and then exhale, bring that strap to one side. Give me a little twist. Inhale, back to center. Open up those arms. Exhale, pull it over the right. Good, so we're inhaling and contracting, adding that twist. Good, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Good, you can increase that movement here, sitting up taller and then sinking back lower, getting a little crunch. Nice breath here. Good, give me four more. Inhale. I know. You're welcome. If you're sitting all day at the computer, you can even use that disc to sit on it at your desk. Make sure you strengthen, keeping your back nice and aligned. Last one here. Exhale, twist. Good, back to one. All right, take a little break if you need to. Inhale, shake out those legs. And then come back to one, back to that center. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale here to repair. And then exhale, come back to that twist. And then from here, I want you to gradually try and lift those legs up off of the mat here. All right? Your knees are both gonna get glued together like you're holding a $100 bill. Squeeze and out of three pulses. Three, two, one. Keep them lifted and twist to the side. Three, two, one. Good, let's just take five here. Three. Two, keep it small. One, twist. Three, two, one. Find it, Alex. Three, two, one. Keeping that chest coming through. Three, two, one. It's so tiny. Three, two, one. Twist. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. So strong and squeeze. Two, one. Good. Come back to center. Reset. It's cool, you guys. Yes, so this time take that grip, all right, and you're trying to take that band from up underneath you. All right, back to one, toes up, knees engaged. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, find that twist, find that contraction. All right, hold it here. Gradually lift up those legs and give me three pulses. Three, two, one, twist it out. Push, two, one, use that upper back too. Three, two, one, push it away. Three, two, 
one so good try to twist further and further each time send those knees across the body three two one last two we got it three two one so strong twist three two one last one three two one make it your best yet three two one release Lord Jesus, it's a ah, we made it <laughs> oh my goodness okay <laughs> my abs are on fire my, abs on fire. my back everything my back, my, oh, no. <laughs> all right last one this is your bonus okay if you have that disc uh, come down keep them keep it at your hips and then take that strap with you and we're gonna pull it across hands out in front of us like a T all right or like a V actually we did the T early, <laughs> like an X, three X T. Hey! All right, this time everything is gonna come up off the ground, all right? So my hands are lifting and then my knees are lifting as well. We're gonna take it all at one time. I want you, so important, for that back to keep trying ripping that, try to rip that strap apart, all right? So release everything down, get heavy, exhale out all that stale air. Stay here, inhale to prepare and then exhale, lift everything up, split it apart, up, release it down, get heavy, again, inhale, lift, exhale, release, two, lift, good, three, Ooh, you should be lifting higher and higher each time, come on, get there, go to your edge right away, keep those shoulders down your back, pulling that band, strap apart, and down, good, Lift higher, the glutes engaged, your back is on fire this whole time. Getting into those lats. Release, lift. Good, give me three more. Last three. Can you lift higher? Two. And last one. Good, release everything down. Put one cheek to the mat. Protect that face. Let it go, bring your knees to a bent position and just windshield right, your legs right and left. Letting that all go. Woo! Yeah. So good. <laughs> all right, come back for me. Sit up nice and tall on your knees. All right, you guys, now we're gonna do some exercises with the wobble board. She's gonna do it without it, so if you don't have one at home, no problem, we highly recommend you get one, because you're gonna get a lot more from these exercises. You'll see, you'll laugh at us, and you, you can, you absolutely can. We're gonna start in all fours, okay? Eventually, we're gonna graduate to that plank, but start on all fours, and I want you to feel, first of all, keep your spine neutral. It's not going to contract, it's not going to release. So right now, your spine should look exactly the same as if you were standing up, okay? Keep those abs engaged. Engage that lumbar spine, make sure nothing moves, and I just want you to push the wobble board away from you, spreading your shoulders apart, and then you're gonna sink into those shoulders. Yes. Now, with that, keep moving, push the floor away. With that, I want you to make sure your shoulders stay down, nowhere close to your ear. So I wanna see a long, beautiful neck. Keep pushing, push away. One, two, and down, down. One, especially if you have the wobble board, Really make sure you're focusing on not dumping your weight into that wrist, so pushing the wobble board away also with your fingers, stacking those shoulders right on top of the wrist, engaging those abs, keep that lumbar spine nice and still, really feel that area between your shoulder blades firing up, long neck, drive those hips back, last three, three, and two, Good, and one, good. Now we're gonna go into plank and you're gonna give me 10 of those, okay? Three, two, one. Push away and sink. Two, and sink. Three, there's no movement on your body. Four, it's just an area between your shoulder blades. It spreads apart, it contracts towards one another. Seven, let it sink. Eight, nine, 10, good. Give your wrist a break. Perfect. Now we're gonna go into that wobble board. She's not gonna do it with any. She's gonna go into that plank and she's just going to crunch, tap that finger back and down. 
tap that finger back and down. If you have the wobble board, you're going to be spinning this little sucker, okay? It's going to be so good. You're gonna feel it on your obliques, but I'm really gonna challenge you to fire up in that area right here where we have that nice juicy bra fat. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna squeeze that area out. Make sure you're still pushing the board with your fingers so it's not a lot of weight dumping into your wrist, okay? So push the board away from you. Try to get that board nice and parallel to the floor. We're gonna twist to our right. Here we go. 10, nine, push the board away. It's eight, seven, that area right underneath your sports bra. Six, five, four, three, squeeze, two, squeeze, one. Good, give it a break, very good. Now we're gonna do push-ups. If you have the wobble board, you're gonna have the wobble board on one of your hands, the other hand is on the floor. She's gonna have both of her hands on the floor. You can modify this to your knees or you can be a beast mode and go full on push-up position, right? With your feet on the floor. We're gonna take the modification here. So you're gonna take it all the way down and all the way up, just 10. Two, if you have the wobble board, you're doing your best to keep that wobble board parallel to the floor. In other words, keep going, Alex. Four, you don't want the wobble board tilting like this, okay? You wanna keep it nice and parallel to the floor. And six, seven, work that back. Eight, melt those abs in. This is about the back and the chest. Nine, 10, so good. Let's switch sides. Make sure your elbows are going back at a 45 degree angle, okay? Not 90 degrees to the side, back at a 45 degree angle. Three, two, get that board parallel, we're in it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze that back, five, push the floor away, four, just like that first exercise we did, three, Two, shh, one, so good, take a rest. This is my last exercise. You're gonna get one hand on the wobble board, you're gonna go into a plank, you can take a knee if you want to, and you're gonna open up that arm. When you open up, twist at the waist, squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other, and down into your spine, so long neck the whole time, okay? Here we go, these are gonna be very challenging. Keep that board nice and still as best as you can. Four, three, you can always take a knee. Two, one, and we're in it. Twist and down, that's one. Twist and down, that's two. Twist and down, that's three. Twist and down, that's four. Twist and down, five. Twist, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Twist from the waist. Your spine loves twists. Six, so take advantage. Two more, nine, nice and juicy twist, 10, good. Let me reset to the other side, bring the other hand to the wobble board, get into that plank either on your knees modified or on your feet, push that board away, here we go. Twist and down, that's one. Twist, squeeze those shoulder blades together, three and down and four and down and five, you can see our back working down. Of course, you're gonna feel it on your abs too. Of course, glutes are engaged, but this is about the back, okay? Obviously, you're gonna feel it on the shoulder, but squeeze that back, twist at the waist. Eight, down, nine, down, last one, 10. So good. Take a little break, all right, crazy. All you, girlfriend. That's what I feel like. <sighs> Totally. Whew. All right, wish me luck. Good luck. So this one's like a good amount of weight to it. I feel like it's like about six. I'm so glad you're doing the exercise with it, not me. <laughs> so first, let's take it nice and easy and then build up. If you have the wobble board, bring it back behind you. You're gonna grip it on both sides and then lift it up so it's off that bum, all right? Send that chest up high. I'm sure you've done this and reach those hands back towards those heels, all right? And just hold here. Let's hold for three, two, one, and then release it down. Good, a few more times here. Lift that chest, send those shoulders down and back. Your shoulders should be so tight together. No space between those shoulder blades, and then release. Good, 
Again, last three, two, one, release. Give me three more. Lift higher, three, two, one. Try to send that board back all the way to those toes. Now lift higher, two, one, release. Last one, three, two, one, release. I hope you guys are on fire. All right, now, make sure you have a good grip. Again, this is heavy. Yes. You're gonna alternate it. Take it back, lift through that chest like we did. Bring it around. Ooh. Take it back. I feel for Reach. you. I know. I'm doing a little serve the dinner. Twist it around. Ah! Lift. Last one. Last one. Switch it. Try to keep it off. Release it down. Oh my goodness. I don't even have weights and I'm suffering. We have to go the opposite <laughs> direction now, right? We do? You got this. Okay. Even if, good, take it around. Lift and twist. Switch it out. Lift Woo! and twist. Why am I saying twist? Trying to get through this. Woo! Focus on something else. Two more. Oh my God. <laughs> You're forgiving, girl. You're forgiving. And lift. Oh. Last one for me. Okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was I can't hard. even clap. My back is so tight. I know. Like, That's for the, for the ladies, but the fellas. Yeah, this. try this. Go, go. I want to see it. All right, come back. Let's just give our upper back a little stretch. Take this left arm up. Pull out that elbow. Send that chest forward. You can use your head to push in to that bicep. Stretch and then take a little fall over to the right. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. You always want to make sure you take a stretch afterwards. All right, calm that heart, switch sides. Connect with the other elbow, shoot that chest forward, push into that bicep, and then gently fall over to your left. This is heaven. Heaven. Oh my goodness, good. Release it down and take that left arm over and across. In your triceps right now. Keep that shoulder down, locked in. Oh, nice and gentle release. Mm. Other side. <laughs> so good. A nice sculpted back. Sexy back for the summer. Yes. Beautiful arms. Good. And now just give your wrists a little circle here. A lot of tension on that. Reverse directions. So good. One inhale for me. Take out all that good energy. Thank your bodies for giving you this workout. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Come back for more. This is a three video series. If you haven't done abs and if you haven't done booty, you don't want to miss it. Okay? Links are down below. And as always, we have the link for you to take advantage of these products. Use code TEAM3XT10, that's one zero, to get 10% off of your entire order. So go fit. thank you so much for providing that for our followers. We really, really appreciate it. And we hope you take advantage of it because they have so many great products that obviously we love. See you next workout, you guys. <laughs>